while I'm here thinking of uh, designs, there was another one I was just talking about with Emma a, a week ago, a little bit back, about, um, we seen a clip about that um, you could stand on, what was it, box stonefish and they can go right through thongs. Stonefish. Remember, you could stand on a stonefish and they go right through your thong. Yeah, they had something thicker than a thong. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was just giving me the point. You don't have to repeat it. Yeah, because of that, I, I thought it straight away when I thought of that. I'm like, well, why don't they sell thongs? I'm hoping they do. I haven't been to a beach for many years, but they should sell thongs and it'd be cheap. And they should just even sell thongs like this to save nails in a lot of incidents. Is they should put a little thin layer of tin in the thong so you go your rubber you go tin uh, just thick enough where these little sharp things that are sharp but weak but they're sharp won't penetrate through the thong you have the tin and then you have the rubber and you can enclose that all have it all sealed in and have those thongs at least sold at beaches that people can wear to protect them from these things shooting up through their thongs and, and in, like I said, you don't even have to sit, you can go pretty much worldwide. I'm thinking you could sell them anywhere. I'd buy them as a better thong, even if it's worth a couple of bucks more or whatever it costs to put it in. You know, to have that sh sheet of tin in there. The thong shoes should do this to stop. Because I got two holes in my foot last year from standing on um, sharp little pins trying to bend them down and end up going through the shoe and into my foot. And so if we had these little tin protections, I'm not saying, you know, you can have them thick, you can have certain thickness, they can sell them as at certain prices, right, the thicker tin, more protection. And, but the shoe will be a little heavier, you know what I mean? But I'd rather have a little heavier shoe, because you get pretty heavy shoes anyway, boots like that. And know that I can go out there and bend nails down and stuff like that, and not worry about if I get quite the wrong angle or something, that the nail's going to go right through my foot. Or rather, me pushing hard enough, it'll just go dunk and I can just bend it a little bit the, the tin inside there and it'll stop me and I go oh that's not gonna that's not gonna bend or whatever huh? and it'll protect people's foot it would have protected my foot I'm still having a foot problem about it and it's been a been a long time it's probably coming up to a year since I've done it and still having a problem because shoes didn't want this little bit of safety protection we all like to talk about safety so there's an idea for shoes and I don't know why they haven't done it a long time ago it might be a cost issue people might have thought it was not going to work or something. They didn't care about safety. Might have been, could be a lot of reasons why. But I think they should have it. Anyway, people, have a good day. Bye-bye.